What's the worst case scenario? Um, if things fall apart and you're so close to, to an agreement, what can happen? The one that does not fulfill the, its obligation would repent. If it is the Amalek that does not uh, fulfill our obligation, then we will be cursed by the people, by the international community, and by even by our conscience. If the government does not comply, then the government will repent. You see? So what is very important on the part of the Amalek is that we are complying. We are complying. How about um, the rights of the Lumads to ancestral land and, and self-determination? Are they, are they a factor <coughs> at all? Um, and how are they upheld in, in the transition process? In the transition commission, or the 15 man uh, transition commission, five comes from Western Mindanao. Mm -hmm. Practically, the five are thousand. Three from Lanao. Two, two come from the, the most numerous tribe, the Maguindanao, my tribe. Only two come from us. From the IP, there are two. So it's fair enough that they represent their interest in the Transition Commission. We told them that we will help you. But you have to play your card. You have to play your card. So in other words, there is an assurance that no one in the area of the proposed Bangsamoro territory would be oppressed or persecuted. Even the Christians, they have a voice there. Sir, to Aisma. Surely you considered equal representation among different sectors when you were choosing your nominees to the Transition Commission. The first consideration as far as the MLF is concerned is uh, loyalty to the struggle. The second one is capacity or capability to discharge his or her duties. The poor third is about representation. But anyhow, members of the Transition Commission coming from the MILF is well uh, representing the, 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 the tribes. How many of, the, of your nominees are also part of the peace panel, of the MILF peace panel? Three. Three of them. Three, yeah. Me, Alonto, and Kamlian. Was that a conscious? And then, uh, of course, Raisa yes. uh, is and one of our well. consultants. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Was that a conscious decision on your part to also include members of the peace panel to, I guess, ensure continuity? Yes, there was a consultation. Mm -hmm. But in the case of the MILF, those who apply were disqualified. Mm -hmm. Those who uh, applied for. Mm -hmm. Membership in the Transition Commission were disqualified. <laughs> because? Because they are interested. <laughs> How about the MNLF? Did they apply? No. Mm. Uh, in fairness to them, they did not apply. But you know, Raisa Jajuri, mm. his yeah. father yeah. is the brother of uh, Kajim Jajuri, a mm. high ranking MNLF uh, leader. Mm -hmm. um, another question here is um, Ridos. How will, how will the MILF resolve this? Basically, the RIDO system is the consequence of values. It's about value system. Mm -hmm. And it's about the failure of the justice system. Mm -hmm. What is good for you? What is good for me? Sometimes people would see money as something good. Of course, everybody loves money. But I'm just uh, explaining the, the, what, is the essence, what, what is the essence of what I'm saying, value system. Some people, his value rests with him, his ego. ego. Mm. If it is hurt, then he will do something bad. So that's one basis of what we call value. Some people would uh, evaluate their value on the basis of clan or tribal. tribal. Some evaluate their value system on the basis of the higher interest of the people. So most of this Rido, or all of these Ridos, is because of that false sense of value. Because if you're hurt, it should be, it should not be addressed by you personally, because it becomes personal. 
And that is the that is why the, I said that the other reason for this redo system is the failure of justice system, because a, a person who is hurt would not go to the justice to the judge, for instance, because there is a failure of ju ju justice there. So redo system thrives in a false value system plus the failure of justice. Um, you have, I, I, I just wanted to shift the, the discussion a bit. I'll go personal again. Um, you have children and you have, you have five children. Um, what do they say about, um, about the shift? And um, whereas before you were a rev uh, revolutionary, now uh, you're involved in the peace process. Is this something that they welcome or is this something that um, they're against? My three children are still very young. They are still very young to understand the world. But my two sons, they ask me so many questions. And I try to explain. I try to explain. 